Good morning and welcome to the Jade Street Garden. Today is Monday, September 7th, 2020. That'll give you a little tour here. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be a pretty warm week. I have some artichokes that are going to flower here. I missed the moment of harvesting it earlier this year. So I'm letting it just flower and do its thing. A few tomatoes in here. Coming along this front bed, we have some four o'clock in this plant here. I started from seed. I have several of these, and most of them are different colors. And Chrissy Camp wants to say good morning. Good morning to the garden. Looks like I have a few patty pans that kind of, one that got away, that's pretty big. Should I will be harvesting that. There's another four o'clock that is white. This little guy here is called Hot Lips. Cute little flower. And here's a mix of nasturtiums, leeks, there's a blueberry tucked in there. More nasturtiums. The nasturtiums did really, really well this year. It's amazing just seeing how much those grow. And they tend to self-seed, so I would expect to have those everywhere <laughs> next year. Along this row morning glories, cucumbers, and green beans behind the cucumbers. There's a nice big cucumber that wants to be harvested. I'm blocking the light. Over here is another four o'clock, and Chrissy Cat, she says good morning. She's the girl cat. And these are just so much fun, all the different colors. So this one plant is yellow and pink and multicolored. Down this row, there are some cantaloupe plants that are they're kind of forming. I saw one back here. Let's take a look, see what it's doing. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, that's cute. It's fuzzy. <laughs> First time growing cantaloupes. Oh, there's another one. Beets. Nice big beets in here. I harvested a couple of them, but there's this whole row. They did pretty well. <clears throat> Some cabbages. Lots of yarrow. That grew naturally. It was already here in this spot and has done very well with watering and just leaving it alone. I've harvested some of the flowers and dried them, saving those for a later use. There's a little pollinator. It's really great with 
all the different things flowering. Especially I've noticed on the mint plants up above, all the different bees, bumblebees, and honeybees, and different things. I don't even know what they are, but just the variety of pollinators. I'm going to turn around and show you the Hugeldad, which is very overgrown or growing well. There's a lot of things going on in here. I'll step back a little bit. So this is a raised bed, two years old. We dug down a couple feet and put wood of various sizes, logs, sticks, twigs, manure, leaves, and this bed is about two or three feet high, maybe three feet, and raspberries have come back, Jerusalem artichokes I planted earlier, they're doing really well, nasturtiums, strawberries, zucchini, a sunflower, Echinacea looks like it's pretty much done for the season. There's still some pink left on it, but I think it's pretty much done. I'm just going to let it finish off. Yeah. And some, there's some other little things, some broccoli and chard back in there somewhere, somewhere in there. I'm not even sure where now. There's some herbs, there's some mullen and motherwort. Over here we have the line of raspberries, which are, these have been going all season. I didn't um, trellis them up this year. Last year I had stakes and twine and that really did help because now you can see down this row they are reaching into the pathway and kind of in the way. But that's okay, they're gonna finish up but they have all kinds of berries that aren't even ripe yet. These, this is all new growth. They've been going all season, and this, again, is new. And they ripen by the day, of course. You know, for example, here's a few. It'll be ready later on today. But trellising them up can be a good idea so they're not so floppy in the pathways few more back there. And on the back side here, the little food forest with apple trees, blueberry plants, comfrey, green onion. Back behind there's a honeysuckle plant, a grape plant that I transplanted doesn't it's growing but I don't see any real mm, grapes or anything that's okay I take the comfrey and cut it several times throughout the season and lay it down at the base you can see the older leaves there they dry up break down and put the minerals back into the soil on the back side of the hugel bed. Alright, well that's it from the Jade Street Garden. Have a great day.